Devin from San Antonio, and this is Props Comic. Uh, Lucille Ball, 100%. I grew up watching old reruns of I Love Lucy, and she was one of the most beautiful women I had ever seen, but she had no problem with being goofy or stupid on camera, and I just, I respected that so much, and she was a business genius. So the more I learned about her, the more I wanted to follow her career and yeah she's she's my absolute top on my mount rushmore <laughs> george carlin oh i i grew up watching carlin uh i'm an english major and he got into his whole words phase and when i started seeing those sets I thought, I'm never going to be that smart to be that witty. And that's what I really wanted to be above more goofy funny was witty. And George Carlin was so witty. And so, yeah, he 100% made me feel like I could not. I, I was never going to reach that pinnacle. And... <laughs> Okay, unpopular opinion for a woman, but it's Bill Cosby's cocaine joke um, where he says, uh, try cocaine. Try Everyone says try cocaine. It'll enhance your personality. And he goes, yeah, but what if you're an asshole? And I just loved that. Like it summed up the drug culture in the 80s so succinctly that I thought it was genius. I'm probably definitely doing it. I think that's when I'm going to save my roast <laughs> for is just right before I die so that everyone that I love can come up on stage and make fun of me and then I can drop dead and it won't hurt my feelings. But yeah, it would definitely be um, the Lollipop Guild, which is me, uh, Jay Valdez, Tiger Ruiz and um, Michelle Cantu. And um, then several other people that I've picked up through this scene, like not any, anybody necessarily nationally or worldwide famous, just the people that I care the most about. I don't like to think about dying a lot <laughs> right now, but um, but yeah, it would definitely be like all my my tribe and my my comedian tribe. And and yeah, we would all do it together. Burn it all down. <laughs> I go over my set list because I smoke a lot of pot and my memory is not the best all the time. <laughs> so even though I wrote it, sometimes I don't remember. And uh, I go over my my set list for, for that show. And then what I don't do is I don't drink a lot before I go on stage anymore. I went through a weird phase where I was having a hard time and I was drinking a lot before I got on stage and somebody called me out on it. <laughs> And uh, and I decided that wasn't a good idea. So, <laughs> um, I think you definitely should not, if you're seeking acceptance or uh, fame and fortune, and you don't have a good work ethic. Like, uh, if you're not willing to put the time in and the effort in, and the mental sweat, and, like, I spent four hours one day looking up a joke that I wrote because I was convinced it was a Cat Williams joke, and I was so terrified about doing somebody else's material that I spent four hours going down a rabbit hole just to find out I wrote that joke. It's just kind of a Cat Williams voice on it, so um, I think that that if you have a desire to really make people laugh, to see that smile and that shine come across people's faces, then definitely do it because you're never going to be let down. But don't do it for your own glory.